Hello, and here I'm going to have a look at um, progress, uh, looking at students' results from their submissions, um, be they quizzes or assignments, how we can alter those, how we can uh, export them to Excel and any other processing we might like to do. So I'm looking at this particular class group and I'm going to hover over classes, look at progress or progress and click on this. And this is the class I want to work on. If it were a different one I were after, I would drop the menu and select the class as appropriate. So on the left here, I see the students' names and these are a collection of uh, quizzes and assignments. The quizzes were self-marking and the assignments were ones where I entered a mark for them. Um, you can see the students' names and the percentage here. And the percentage is a simple average. So that in the case of uh, the first candidate, it's three, six, seven assignment stroke quizzes, seven submissions here. And this 84% is the average of those seven. Whereas in the case of the second student, the student submitted two assignments only. And the average is not an average of the total number of assignments issued, but the number of assignments submitted by the candidate. Um, the first uh, column here is a live um, assignment that I gave this particular class, and consequently there are a few handed in so far. Uh, as we've seen uh, in resubmitting um, work, this is a quiz here. If I were to click on this, I could view submission and then I could delete submission so that this candidate, this student could resubmit that particular quiz. Um, exporting to Excel. Clicking the export button and it will be an Excel file. It will be a, a CSV file, comma separated value. And I save it to my desktop. Click on save. And then if I were to look on my desktop, I'll see in here an Excel CSV file or comma separated value file, which I can save as an Excel uh, workbook if I want to. And here are those students. I leave their names out of it for the moment. And these are the various uh, submissions they made. These are the totals. And I can, depending on your Excel skills, uh, you can decide to uh, weight those tests differently or you can get an average of their total number of tests or the number of tests submitted or you can play with these figures as one wishes having exported them out of Edmodo. That's it.